finished my first day of an elective. These guys are dialed in. If it's larger than one third, that's not moving well. <laughs> so I was walking to take the shuttle at the hospital. I turn the corner and I see that there's nobody at the hospital, no cars, and like, mm, I don't think the shuttle's working. So, so I turn around and I have to start jogging back home and uh, get in the car, drive over to the Civic, find parking on the street, and I have eight minutes left to arrive on time, so hopefully I'm at the right place. So we're just getting ready. I'm in the cardiac section of the new, uh, new ultrasound machines. We got all these beds, and the SPs, and they're gonna start the competition soon. So, if it's larger than one third, that's not moving well. Like you can say that this is a plus heart. Just oh, that's good. The news. The other view would probably be your fortune view. And just for like eyeballing, like EF, because I guess that's probably the all I'm gonna use for. So it's totally the anterior of the microphone. All right, I'm here with Tara and Anshu. We've been talking for the past hour or so about how to prepare for the med school interview. These guys are dialed in and they're ready. They're a little bit nervous, right? But you guys got this. Their answers have been on point and we've just been going through questions. They've been answering, giving each other feedback. I've been learning for sure and... Um, their interviews are probably, I think, first week of March, but I feel comfortable or confident for them. Um, they're going to do well. So I just finished getting off a call with Anshu and Tara. Uh, we initially planned to speak, to talk together for an hour. We uh, stayed for two hours, um, which is totally fine because I really wanted to help them. I wanted to answer the questions, any doubts, any fears, any concerns, because I totally understand the, the situation there, and if you're interviewing, you feel nervous, you have all these doubts, these worries, but it's okay. You do your best, you control what you can, and uh, you don't don't worry about anything outside of that. Uh, but I'm always uh, so grateful for the opportunity to be on the other side and kind of reaching, reaching down and pulling people up. Right now, I think I'm emailing nine or ten people, and I've talked to uh, Tara and Anshu today. But, you know, there's always people messaging me and uh, whenever I have time, I will answer and get back to you. I, I do want to help um, as much as I can. Sometimes I might not respond because I'm in class, but that's the way it goes. Uh, but it's awesome to be on the uh, to, uh, to be able to help people um, to get on the call and answer the questions that I had when I was in their shoes. So uh, it's a blessing. It's a privilege. I'm here for an elective, shadowing Dr. Smith, who we went uh, curling with for a surgery elective. Let's see how it goes. All right, so I just finished watching a surgery, uh, Perthes Capus disease, and um, Dr. Smith's gonna get me to scrub in and help out with the surgery, which is cool. I'm gonna, I just quickly changed my shoes because my shoes are kind of uncomfortable. And you need comfortable shoes for surgery. My back hurts after standing for a long time. My feet kind of hurt. So yeah, so now I have my lunch. I'm gonna quickly eat. I have about 15 minutes before the next surgery. It's gonna be fun, man. I love, I enjoy surgery. I love scrubbing in. Although I'm still leaning towards family medicine, I enjoy the process. All right, I finished my first day of an elective here at Chia with Dr. Smith. So, Smith. Somebody walked into the change room and I stopped recording. I think it was a doctor. Um, anyways, I did the uh, elective with Dr. Smith and it was really cool. Uh, the first one was Perthes Capus disease and the second one was osteochondroma. Um, and the first one I observed, but then the second one I actually scrubbed in. So I got to scrub in, um, get my hands uh, Duty, for lack of a better expression. Um, I help them with, you know, just suctioning up the blood, uh, soak, soaking the blood. Um, I actually got to hit 
one, uh, one of the chisels to remove the osteochondroma. So that was really cool. They were pressed for time. So then ended up brushing, got one of my hands contaminated. So I had to remove a glove. It was lots of fun, um, lots of standing, but uh, really need to see, to, to take part of this experience. And that's only my first elective. I'm trying to book other electives with Dr. Smith in a month or two. And hopefully in between then I can book some other electives, but no rush because uh, it's already difficult enough to manage school, hobbies, vlogging. That's a lot of stuff. But I really enjoyed my first day of an elective in orthopedics. Interview. Yay! <laughs> we, by accident, happened to bump into each other. I was in a CBL room practicing with Neil, <laughs> and I opened the door because I'm going to practice, and then two people are like, hey, you're from YouTube. I'm like, yeah, I am. I, reckon, <laughs> I kind of recognized Tara. Yeah. I was thrown off, and then there's somebody else who I don't recognize, but his name is Khalid, or Khalil. Mm -hmm. um, so Tara, general summary, like yeah. no specifics. Yeah. How would you summarize your interview experience? I think walking in at first was, it was really nice because a lot of the candidates got to talk together. So that made me feel a little bit more comfortable. We're all in the same boat. Um, and we were all like just kind of talking about how we're feeling and it kind of like made the nerves go down a little bit. Uh, general interview experience, I think that my, my panel was very friendly and they really were just truly trying to get to know me. Um, so that really helps with the interview. Um, afterwards now, I'm, I'm obviously second guessing a lot of my answers, but I overall feel okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, so we talked a lot about this off camera. I just wanted uh, to get her on camera and let you guys know how it was because you already know that we got on a call together mm -hmm. and things, some things went according to plan, some things didn't. Yep. But it's normal. <laughs> we talked about prepare for the worst, yep. but expect the best. So. Yeah, and you never know what's going to happen in the interview, so you have to be prepared for anything. Okay, well, yeah. I hope to see you next year. Yeah, thank you. I'm so excited. I hope to see you next year too.